Hello everybody, it's Brandon again, and today we're going to be taking a look at uh, the new release, my favorite Linux distribution. This is Fedora 37. I'm running the beta, I'm running it on VirtualBox, but um, we're going to be taking a look at it. I have it fully updated and everything. The, um, the actual release date for this was supposed to be yesterday, but I don't think it's out yet on their website. So I'm still using the beta. It should be pretty similar to the final product. And um, so let's just take a look. The big difference in Fedora 37 is that it comes with GNOME 43. And so we're just going to look at what the big changes are in GNOME 43. The first one, they've redesigned this uh, little bar up here. And I guess it looks better. I mean, they made it look more modern for sure. Uh, the settings is pretty much the same, except I guess they have a new uh, security setting. And where was that at? Privacy, oh hell, that doesn't even matter. There's a, <laughs> I should have looked at this before I started recording, of course. There's apparently some new security tab. Uh, but we'll take a look at that in a minute. Because the other big change is with the file manager here. The uh, Nautilus file manager, or I guess it's just called GNOME Files now. They revamped it so that it works better with a mobile device. Which really means if you resize it here and make it small, it just hides the sidebar. And um, I guess it puts some of your controls down at the bottom here. So that's the new interface. Now, who's going to be using GNOME on a mobile device? I don't know. It's possible that some people are. But uh, that's a big change with that. And the other big change is um, with an app that doesn't really come with Fedora by default, which is called the uh, GNOME Web. It used to be the Epiphany web browser. Now it's just called Web. If I can uh, download it from their app store here, <clears throat> I'll show you. Because I kind of wanted to test it out. They said it's supposed to be better for web apps. Now, to be honest, if I'm going to install a web app like a PWA onto my system, I'm probably using Chrome or Edge. But uh, let's go ahead and see what Web for GNOME has done with it. Because last I used with Web, it uh, didn't really support progressive web apps very good. So we'll see if that's changed. The last 1% always takes the longest. Let me uh, look here while that's installing. See if I can find where that... Yeah, that device security panel, it did not show up on mine. I was in the right place. When you go to settings and privacy, there's supposed to be a new device security thing right on the bottom. I don't see it, so we're not going to worry about it. So let's open up web. Uh, I don't need to make it my default, but I'm going to go to something I know that's a progressive web app, which is uh, Barrel River 2, br2.apps.com. I'm testing this one out because it also uses WebGL. And so if it doesn't load, I'm going to think there's a WebGL problem because here we are not loading. Well, let me just try something else. It could be not loading because um, I'm using this in VirtualBox. Let's check out Colony Wars. These are all games I made, by the way. Okay, here we got Colony Wars. It seems to work. Can you install it? Install site. All right, let's do that. We'll see how it looks. Colony Wars comes up. So it kind of works, but um, it doesn't respect PWA theming on the title bar you can see there. So, I mean, there's that. And it also said when you install something now as a web app, you should be able to uninstall it using the software app. So I should find it in here. I don't. But you know what? That's okay. Wars. So anyway, how I read that it's supposed to work, it doesn't work. But that's neither here nor there. Those are the new things. If you never used Fedora Linux before, it's uh, pretty close to having just a clean GNOME distribution. I kind of liken it to, uh, you know, if you just want clean Android, you can buy a uh, Pixel phone. 
that's kind of how I feel about Fedora. It's clean GNOME. It's a good distribution. Um, if you're a software developer like me, it comes with a lot of good development tools right off the bat. And the GNOME Software Center has pretty much everything you need in it right easy to go. I think now that it has flat packs built in, you can even install Steam right from it. Yeah, without having to do anything special. So I really love Fedora. If you're looking at getting into Linux, um, it's one that I hi highly recommend to everybody. But um, so here's what's new in Fedora 37. I think it should be hitting all devices pretty soon. If you have an old Fedora installation, you can usually update right from the software app. And um, I have a Fedora box in the other room that I've done two version upgrades on and it's they've been clean each time I haven't had a problem so go ahead and check out Fedora if you like it if you want me to check out anything else on Fedora you can let me know in the comments and um, I think I'm gonna check out some other Linux distributions over the next few weeks here and of course I'll keep checking up on the Chrome OS Flex stuff not a lot new has happened on Chrome OS Flex lately so I haven't done a lot of videos about it but there are a couple things we're gonna take a look at but for you guys who love Linux check out Fedora and if you don't love Linux, I don't know. You don't have to. It's not for everybody. But thank you guys for watching, and have a good day. Bye now.